Hello everyone, welcome to with Roblox. My name is James and today we're doing another beginner tutorial. This time we'll be adding a grass to the layout and uh, showing you various methods to add a grass to your layout. Uh, but first things first, you can probably just do the easiest way to do that, which is basically just paint the grass on, which I did in my uh, beginner layout. And I, I think that turned out quite well, because uh, first of all, it's going to be your layout if you want to paint the grass on. That's your choice and you should be happy with it if you no, want it to look like that and um, don't really let NBS tell you otherwise because like I said it's your layout you made it if it no the only person who should be telling you if it looks any no good or not is you really but um, if you do want to add a bit more textured um, grass to your layout we do have a few methods to do that uh, first things you could do is using a grass mat here this is basically a scatter all stuck on a uh, mat, no supporting mat underneath. And uh, you can use this to great effect if your layout is mostly flat, maybe hills here and there. Because uh, you can make hills with this, however I haven't been successful in doing that. So I won't be using it in this video, but uh, you just basically uh, cut it and you know, glue it around the shape you want to. But uh, like I said, I won't be using it today because I'm not all that good with it. Uh, but I'll be using the alternative to that, which is just using loose scatter. This is just basically just as it is, loose scatter. And you just glue, you know, cover uh, glue all over the layout, and then just sprinkle glue, uh, the um, scatter all over. Uh, I prefer using a sieve, and just go da -da 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 -da, spread it all over, clean up the mess later. And uh, you can get uh, very nice results of that. Uh, if you want a bit more realistic effect, you'd be using uh, something like scattered grass, uh, scattered static grass, which is just basically very fine filaments of. Uh, actually, I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm just it's very fine filaments of something, and um, yeah, you can get it in various lengths. You got one millimeter, you got uh, two millimeter, four millimeter longer, depending if you want to use it longer. I've only got. Uh, up to four millimeters because I do end gains and uh, four millimeters are already too big anyway. But uh, yeah, you can use that to do various things. Like if you've got a wheat field, get uh, wheat colored uh, grass and then make a la no, very loose wheat field over here. No, then normal field over here, something like that. It should look quite nice. And um, yeah, if you really want the best results, you should probably be using all of these methods here. So if you've got a nice, well-kept lawn, you use the uh, stat uh, scatter and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, no, it should look like very fine, well-kept grass. Uh, if you've got uh, not quite as kept no, lawn or something like that, you know, use the one millimeter you know, into a bit more wilder you know, forest or something like that. Use the um, no, two millimeter. Or if you've got a big field of uh, no, it's, like I said, wheat or some other crop, use no four millimeter. Make it look like it's various different lengths. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get all this uh, ready. It's just so if I can show you how to begin with adding grass to your layout. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, first things first, if your layout looks a bit like my uh, tutorial board here, you may want to do the first thing first, which is, um, well, painting it really. So uh, just basically to cover up all the, like say if you've got newsprint here, if you've got the, uh, no, the um, plaster wrap here, or basically all the other stuff which I've added here, I'll say you want to cover it up just so that it doesn't sew up through the grass, whatever method you feel like doing. Uh, I have got uh, two methods which I've got here, which is, uh, it's basically the same, it's basically just painting it on, but uh, they're two different uh, things. Uh, first of all, it's the uh, Woodland Phoenix uh, Earth Colors Pigment. Uh, this is more like a dye. It doesn't really cover up things. It may work a bit more better on uh, the white thing here, but it's um, like I say, it's like dye. It will it basically soaks into the material rather than coating it. And uh, I don't think I'll actually be using it all that much because uh, it's it's fairly runny. I'll do a little bit. Um, I'll do a little bit here and see how that works. So. Ooh, that's a bit more than I wanted, but never mind. And uh, yeah, as you see, it's uh, this has probably been sat in the bottle a bit too much, but um, yeah, it, it, so it slightly coats it, but it doesn't give a very thick coat. So I'm 
And I think this has been sat in there but all too long. I haven't actually used all the mats because I switched to uh, just using normal uh, poster paint because um, it gives it a it's basically cheaper and um, gives the same effect really, but uh, but uh, more effective. Yeah, that's quite runny in my opinion. But uh, yeah, if you you might have some uses for it. You just want to lightly stain the terrain and plus it should be in the right colour anyway because uh, this is specially mixed to look like you know, an earth colour. But uh, if you're like me, just any sort of brown really. Now will do, do quite nicely. Eh, it's not really too bad. i say it is the right colour for dirt. It just needs to be much thicker, in my opinion. Let's see. Yeah, it just says if you want to make it lighter, which I don't really see why, um, <laughs> uh, add water to it, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And I think this brush is a bit broken. Um, <laughs> Eh, what's your opinion? What's your, what's your opinion? Look all right. I'm gonna add poster paint. This is just your average run-of-the-mill poster paint, which you can get from any any supermarket, really, if it wants to come out. There we go. Yep, this will this will coat absolutely everything. It's not quite the right brown, but brown is brown in my opinion. And uh, you can probably do some nice effects using various browns. Maybe mix the two together, but uh, I haven't had a go at doing that. Now you're just basically watching a video of me painting. So um, I'm going to stop this section for now, but uh, yeah, what do you think? I look all right still. So in my opinion, brown is brown. And um, yeah, I'll be coating the rest of... I'll probably just be coating the rest of the uh, tutorial board in this because I've got a fair amount of it, uh, the poster paint and I have it of the woodland scenic stuff. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut for now and then bring you back when all of this is dried and uh, ready to be no for grass to be added. Uh, one thing which you could, which you should be doing at um, this point, once all of this is dried, uh, if you've got something like a uh, cliff face here or like some sort of thing, something where a stone is going to be uh, visible, you'll be wanting to paint that now before you add the grass, just so that it can no, first of all it can dry separately and uh, so, so you can work on it without having anything you know, sticking in the way or anything like that so um yeah i'll be doing that as well and um yes yeah, so covering it nicely so uh yeah i'll be uh, basically making this little cliff in the meantime so i'll see you in a bit right here we are with the uh, tutorial board all nicely painted uh, I have done a bit of uh, dry brushing on the little stone bit here just to make it a little bit more nicer but uh, first things first I'm going to show you is basically uh, adding the um, scatter or flock as I sometimes call it but um, I have got a little area picked out here which I want to use it for and um, yeah first things first just use some glue I'm just using normal PVA and just pop it roughly on here probably a bit more neater than I'm doing it but uh, you'd only want to do this in small quantities then small patches and then add the grass to that then 
once that's dry, you do well not dry one. You're done with that bit. Add more glue, do another bit, and then carry on. But uh, I'm going to be a bit lazy and just uh, do it all in one. And yeah, this is for a well kept field. I know, something like a sports field or something like that. So make sure there's a lot of glue because I have had this sometimes not quite stick where I want it to. So adding plenty of glue because, like I said, I'm doing this all in one, one go. And also one take, so if I mess up anything, um, well, feel free to have a giggle at me. It would help if I got this something. So, yep. And as you see, I have got um, a sheet of paper underneath just to collect any mess. And uh, yeah, I tend to pour it from here onto a sieve. Make sure you coat it evenly. And even if you think you coated it evenly, well, coat it some more. Right. There we go. And yeah, we just basically let that dry. And uh, then once it's all dried, and made sure it's all dried, uh, just hoover up any mess or just brush it off and wait for it to uh, we'll clean up all later, which I'm probably going to be doing. But um, yeah, we just need to wait now and um, yeah, I'll come back to it a bit and then show you how to do the uh, one millimeter grass, which I tend to put on the bordering areas or between places. So uh, yeah, I'll, bring you, I'll see you at the back in a bit. Right, here we are with the, um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, scatter all glued on quite nicely and uh, you may be wondering why I'm actually wearing a uh, rubber glove uh, covered in paint uh, it's because I'll be using the static grass applicator because I'll be doing the uh, one milliliter grass first uh, this is a uh, ha homemade uh, static grass applicator it's basically you know the fly swatters it's basically one of them with a sieve on the end with a wire attached to one of the uh, electrodes can't remember but uh, it's basically just so uh, the uh, grass gets um, a slight static clean to it so that it pokes where well, it sticks up and uh, it's very dangerous to use which is why I've got a um, rubber glove on one side so um, first thing I'm gonna do is add the glue I'll be mostly doing this off camera because uh, this will take a bit longer than you have um, you scatter so you're just going to do only a small bit and um, yeah if you're not all that keen on using something which is uh, basically electricity um, <laughs> quite frankly well we have got a um, alternative which is using the puff bottle I'll show you how to do that when we get to the two millimeter uh, grass but uh, if you don't really keen on using that just stick to was it uh, scatter it looks fine for most things so uh, mm, let's quickly do down here and so there's a lot of glue And as always, you uh, do test out on a bit of you no know, scrap, a bit of scenery or something like that. Basically, if you, if you want to practice on something, basically build something like this and then just keep practicing. Anyway, here we have a static glass applicator and all we're going to do is stick the probe into the layout. Uh, 
pop it there and um, yeah we're just gonna load it up with some static glass always hold it over where I want to do it anyway uh, also be very careful of where the probe is in relation to where the let's see I may take that bit off attach it to the rails probably not a good idea either but uh, never mind but yeah always be um, careful in mind of where uh, the um, sieve is in regard to the probe because um, yeah sparks basically you can get more commercially built static grass applicators which are probably a lot more safer in fact they probably are a lot more safer but yeah this is just bringing up all those very ton tiny filaments and bring them up so they stick up but with one millimeter grass it's probably not all that noticeable but uh, oh well Even with a rubber glove, still not all that keen on doing this. And so it's basically adding more and more over the area till you feel that you're done. see really and then carefully remove this and uh, yeah again wait for it to dry and uh, while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm going to be doing this area over here off camera so I'll bring you back once uh, once that's all done and also once I've done all the other bits so I'll see you in a bit right here we are with the first lot of grass all dried on you can see it doesn't look all that bad uh, I did uh, unfortunately not have the right colour which matched with the uh, darker green of the uh, static uh, but the scatter so uh, yeah it does look a bit off but uh, never mind it's only a tutorial so it doesn't have to look perfect uh, so next thing which I'll be teaching you about is how to use the puff bottle uh, this is a knock one I think that's how you pronounce it but it's basically that brand you can get other brands and um, yeah this is a very easy method to add grass to your layout without having to use a static grass applicator so uh, a lot less electricity involved so uh, first things first it's always the same thing you add glue to where you want it I'm just gonna quickly try and add it here because I don't want the video to be all that long But uh, yeah, this basically just uses static cling from uh, basically, you know, when you rub a um, what's it, a balloon against something, then you got to get static cling from that. It's basically on the same uh, process as that, which uh, makes the hair, the uh, filaments of the grass stand up. I tend to use this to uh, fill in bits uh, where I've missed with the uh, static grass applicator or something's accidentally come off somewhere and uh, yeah it just saves getting the entire static no static grass applicator out this is the easier thing to do with that so yes here's the puffer bottle and you basically just empty it up and uh, you just pop the grass inside being a bit careful with it also use no instructions on how to use it on the actual packaging which I remember unfortunately I don't actually remember all that well because I bought it some time ago so uh, yeah you just pop mm, probably a bit more in there you pop actually you can't see on the camera unfortunately yeah 
So just put a couple of clumps in there, seal it up. I feel like shaking it does help. Let's see, I think also I just missed a bit of the uh, glue. Make sure we get lots of glue everywhere. Because uh, if you don't, you end up with patsy bits. But uh, yeah, give it a sake just to help get some static with it. And uh, yeah, just. feel that shaking it well, puffing it out does tend to get it to work a bit more better but uh, yeah like I said I'm not entirely sure of the actual instructions but this is how I've been using it. You probably shouldn't shake it while using it but never mind. This is why I only use it for uh, Old spots really. It does tend to go through the uh, glass quite quickly, but uh, it might just be because uh, that's how it's meant to work, and I didn't actually notice while doing it with the other other methods. In pumps, it does end up clinging to your fingers after a while. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got a few spots with not too much, with not quite enough glue, but uh, I'll sort them out afterwards. There we go. And um, yeah, I said done pretty much a decent job. Does look like glass. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait for that to dry, and then we can have a look at it afterwards. I will be doing this uh, separately over here because that's maybe two mil as well. Uh, I'll be doing that with the static glass applicator just to see what the difference is. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, here we are with this part also now glassed up. Uh, this was using the static glass applicator and this was using the puffer bottle. Uh, though uh, gaps were redone with the puffer bottle. And um, they do pretty much look very similar. The only difference is uh, this uh, is a bit more better covered as this has a few bulge spots. It's mainly on the uh, slope. So it's basically give and take of what you feel like using. But uh, actually just saying that this was the uh, shorter glass was completely done by a static glass applicator and uh, it is still a bit bold spot here and there. But um, that's probably because I didn't use enough glue. But uh, it's no real problem because uh, you could always use some spots for um, basically putting trees, you know, other foliage and stuff like that. Basically hide the bold spots with something more interesting. So uh, yeah, it's not really all that much of a problem. But uh, yeah, this the puff bottle can be useful, but uh, I'd say no, use a lot more glue. Anyway, the last bit we should be uh, having a go at doing is uh, basically using longer grass for areas. And uh, saying the differences of using longer grass with puff bottle and also the static grass applicator. So I'll just show you um, basically how I'll do that. So I'm just going to be cleaning up now while it all dries and then I'll get to show you the 4 mil glass which like I said does have a few more problems uh, when doing it. So uh, yeah I'll see you in a bit. Right and here we are with the last length of uh, well grass to add and uh, I'm going to be do this a little bit differently in that I'm going to use a different glue which is the static grass layering uh, spray it's basically it's a spray adhesive and um, yeah with this you need to do a little bit of uh, preparation beforehand because uh, you don't want it on anything else important like uh, the track for example so uh, yeah you just cover up uh, basically things which you don't want glued uh, that's probably going to be I'm only going to be using uh, some kitchen towel because it's quick and easy to get on. Uh, basically, it's quick and easy to put uh, down and all that lot. So uh, yeah, I'll be using that. And 
I've got the glue ready. This is basically spray it where you want it. Uh, I did actually use this on the uh, main layout of Bosnport. That's mostly staying on there, so it does work. So, uh, yep, that's all done. And uh, I'll quickly use the uh, puffer bottle. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be. No, no, puffer bottle does not like. Uh, does not like the uh, four millimeter grass, so we'll pop that away. So uh, yeah, if you're going to be using longer lengths of, uh, well, longer lengths of grass, make sure you have got basically the appropriate tools to use it with. I don't think this static grass applicator is actually designed for. Four milli either. Let's have a go. Mm. Now you can get some which are a bit better with this, but uh, the problem is it clumps up quite well. But it is working better than the puffer bottle. You can see it's uh, quite clumped up into little things like that, which are not helpful. So let's have another go. Also, if you're wondering the reason why I'm knocking it against my hand, that's just so that it uh, gives a bit more vibration to get all the strands through the mesh. Now if I have I actually remember what uh, what it's called. Um <laughs> and yeah, you have to break up the longer grasses so it fits through quite well. And now that it's I'm using the uh, broken up clumps, it is starting to look better. Again, not the right colour to compare to everything else, but uh, eh, never mind. And just lost the clump. Now, with the spray adhesive, what you can do is go over what you've done. And I have actually used it to uh, fix some of my other. Uh, some of my previous stuff, so uh, yeah, it is useful in that regard. I don't like using that often because uh, being asthmatic, it's not particularly uh, pleasant to be around. <laughs> eh, it's not too bad. I'm just going to use Trying to use some of the static on its own just to put it up, but uh, it seems to be having moments. Let's just add a bit more glue. May or mean actually brush some of this lot away because I don't want that glued. Put that in there. Let's see if we can get a bit more on there. You do have to hold this rather close to uh, the grass just to make it all stand up on the end. Which I'll keep forgetting to do while I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that'll do for now. And, uh, Oh, I've missed a bit over there. I'll do that in a moment, but um, yeah, that's doesn't look too bad. 
Probably should leave it to dry, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. I'll bring you back when it's all done and when I've tidied up that little bit. So I'll see you in a sec. And here we are with the finished grassing, uh, if that's the right word to say. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I did manage to get these strands to start uh, poking out, and, well, po uh, standing up. That's because I had to hold the uh, grass applicator much more closer, which I'll keep forgetting to do. Uh, it's a bit more important on the longer strands because they're heavier weight. It does tend to make it uh, difficult to stand them up. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And uh, the other grass looks quite nice as well. I'm still not too sure what to do with that now because uh, it doesn't quite look the right colour. But uh, like I say, it's a tutorial board and it's not meant to look all that right. But uh, at least I like to make it look nice. Uh, one thing which you can also do with uh, grass is if you've got these long strands like this, or just strands like this, or anything like that, is to get a, a sheet of baking paper, uh, lay it onto a baking tray, a metal one. Uh, again, use your static grass applicator. Uh, put blobs of uh, glue down, just little blobs here, there, and everywhere. And then just basically grass that, and then you've got some nice little bits of grass which you can now put into them awkward little spots just to add a little bit more detail on your layout. Because uh, you notice I have got these uh, gaps here, there, and everywhere, and uh, yeah, you can fill them in with static grass. And instead of having to mess up glue, no, put messy glue all on your layout again, put them on. Well, you'd have to put glue now anyway, but. Do all the grass off the layout, have it all ready, and just lightly dab a bit of glue, or just put the glue somewhere else and just dab it on there and move in. It's like adding your own, you no, know, making your own um, uh, grass kit thing to add more flair to your layout. And uh, yeah, it can look rather nice. And you could, if you're skilled enough, make your own uh, flowers and things like that. But uh, I'm not, I'm not sure how to do that. But um, yeah, I think that's the end of this video, and uh, I just need to do a bit of clean up now, and uh, yeah, I'll say that looks rather nice. And I uh, hope you have found this video useful. I know this series is a bit uh, hodgepodge, but, uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can do really. So anyway, I'm going to start cleaning up, and uh, yeah, I hope you all, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you uh, have a nice day. So. If you like the video or like the series and all that lot, feel free to subscribe, like or comment. Uh, if not, hope you enjoy your day anyway. So see you again next time. Bye bye now.